the tricks! Huh? I have never been so insulted in all my life! Hey Sparkles! What's up? And welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna make a doll that has been highly requested by a lot of you guys on Instagram when I shared my Flora Enchantix doll a while ago that I made about an eternity ago. That was when I didn't even have my YouTube channel. But y'all loved her so much that I decided to make another Wings Club doll and let you guys decide which I'm gonna make. And the winner was... Drumroll! Musa Enchantix! That one's really gonna be a challenge, so let's start right away. For Musa I will use a Dracula or Monster High doll that has already been rerouted by my friend Julia. Not having to reroute her saved me a lot of time in making the doll and Julia did an amazing job. The color blend is so pretty and the hairstyle is perfect. Aww. After wrapping her in an old cloth and airbrushing her skin to be more human-like, I start by dusting on some glitter onto her skin to give her a pretty sheen. Then I'm going in with some light pink pastels and give her cheeks some beautiful soft blushing. For her lips I'm using a smaller brush and a more saturated pink. I also like to give my dolls some nose and forehead blushing because it makes the face look even sweeter. A q-tip is a great helper to blend the blush more evenly. Then I can already sketch out her eyes. This process was tricky because I wanted to give her a cute cartoony look but also stay true to my style of painting faces. Also my camera decided my hands were more interesting here apparently. After adding the iris and the pupil I go in with very dark blues because Musa has super dark blue eyes. I like to use a darker shade on the upper part of the iris and a lighter one on the lower part and just blend them together. Then I decided it was time to add the other eye, which was a struggle, so let's make some video magic happen here. Ah, oh, if it was only that easy in real life. Now I just need to add some eye whites to the sclera with some white gouache paint. I also decided to give Musa some pink pearly eyeshadow. Luckily I have some gouache paint in that shade and could apply it with a brush. Time for my favorite part, eyebrows! I just dust on some blue pastel chalk dust first and then erase the eyebrow in shape. After that I take pencils and define the shape of the brow. I decided to make her eyebrows a little bit more straight because Musa is Asian and I've seen a lot of Asian people having those beautiful straight eyebrows. Time for lashes! I'm taking a dark pencil and draw the position of the lashes first before thickening them on the base of the lash. Then I'm going to draw the lower lashes with patience that I don't know where I took it from and also a very sharp pencil. Looks good so far! Now I just had to do it all over again for the other eye. Finally some fun time! Shimmer! I'm taking some pearly shimmers and apply them to the cheeks as a highlighter. I usually take a bit more because after spraying it with MSC a little bit of the shimmer will always fade away. Now just some eye highlights and gloss are missing. For that I use white gouache paint and carefully draw the little highlights onto her iris. Also I don't know what was wrong with my camera by defocusing here again. Sorry about that. After the highlights were painted I just gloss her lips with some high gloss varnish. I usually apply three coats of varnish to make the lips extra shiny. Okay, time for our outfit. I made her pattern and cut out all the pieces live on Twitch by the way. So if you want to hear me sing background music, come and say hi sometime. For Musa's clothes I decided to layer some pink glitter tool with pink cotton fabric to make it opaque. 
First I need to sew the little darts of her top. I mark them with a pencil and just fold the fabric and sew the little triangles. After that was done, I'm folding around the top and bottom seam allowance and glue them around with my trusty Uhu glue. Then I just added two snap buttons on the back and a velcro that will be used for her wings later. Before finishing the top, I'm gonna make her balloon skirt. For that I'm gonna take this small piece and sew some darts onto it too. Then I take the larger piece, layer it with tulle as well, sew a gathering thread on top and bottom on it and gather it to the length of the smaller piece. I'm taking the smaller piece and sew it together with the gathered skirt piece on the bottom seam first, finished sides in. Then I made a light pink ruffle from baby pink cotton fabric, gathered it and sew it onto the upper seam first, finished sides in. Then I'm folding the smaller piece on top of it and sew it again, sandwiching the ruffle in between the skirt pieces. I turn it inside out and it looks like this. Now I just need to add a yellow satin ribbon to it. I burn the edges with a lighter and glue it to the skirt with my trusty Uhu Alleskleber. For a closure I added a velcro to the back. Now only the clothing decorations are missing. For that I took some self-adhesive transparent yellow vinyl and glued two pieces together on the sticky sides so I ended up with a non-sticky piece of vinyl and drew the decorations on it. I cut them out and ended up with these four pieces. Then I printed some gradients onto decal vinyl and cut out smaller parts from them first. I let them soak in water for 20 seconds, peel them off and place them on top of one of the vinyl pieces. Then I let this dry and cut off the excess. Now I just need to add a glue seam and sprinkle some golden glitter onto it. When adding too much glue I remove it with a toothpick. And that's how it will look with the glitter. I'll just do that to all the seams of all the gradient pieces. Here they're all done and they look so nice. Now the holy Alice Kleber comes into action again, because I will use it to glue the decorations to the top and the skirt. I carefully dab a blob of glue on the top and place the decorations onto it. And yeah, the top is done! I do the same with the skirt decorations and also add a big rhinestone on top of it. Yeah. Oops! Of course I needed to drop it first before I'm able to glue it on. Last but not least I add 8 pink rhinestones around the big stone to make it look like a little flower. And with that the skirt is done! The decorations really make it shine! On to the most terrifying part, the wings. I actually started to make them three times, I think, because, well, the first try was kind of a floppy disaster. Flopaster, I might say. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. I basically made a cuttable vector graphic and cut it from different vinyls with my dad's Cricut first. A transparent version, the details with yellow and the inner details with orange vinyl. Then I asked my sister for help, because she's the sign-making master, to glue the transparent yellow vinyl wings onto a completely clear thick vinyl sheet. We did that with water to prevent air bubbles. After about two hours it was dry enough so I could remove the transfer paper vinyl. Then we applied transfer vinyl to the yellow vinyl parts too and glued the yellow parts on top of the transparent yellow wings. We also used water again, since you can shift it around for a while and are less likely to ruin it. Placing it wasn't easy. Yeah, it was just really tricky. But it worked in the end. Two more hours later it was relatively dry too and I could remove the transfer vinyl. It was partially a bit wet still, but I was impatient and wanted to work on those darn wings. (laughs) 
I actually glue the yellow on both sides for a perfect finish. So I had to wait another two hours. Yay! Then I took the orange parts and placed them onto the wings while struggling to place them neat. In the end they turned out good enough though. After I was done with the vinyl gluing I cut out the wings from the clear vinyl with scissors. Oh they look so nice already! For a bit more stability I add a wire to the top part of the wings by gluing it on with some super glue. I then add a magnet to the top part of the wings with some more super glue and a little velcro piece to the bottom middle part. Time for the most loose glitter I ever used. I apply some Mod Podge to the orange parts of the wings and then try to create a nice gradient with yellow and dark pink glitter. I blend it with a toothpick and add partially a little bit more glitter if necessary. Looks good! Now I just need to do that 11 more times. Ugh. After I was done with the gradients, I decided to apply glitter to all the yellow parts as well and make them, you guessed it right, golden. That process took me three or four hours or maybe even more, I don't really know anymore. But it looks so so good! I then decided to add some chunky iridescent glitter to the gradients as well, because it gives the wings even more details. I dab on glue with a q-tip and sprinkle the glitter on top. Occasionally I placed some bigger glitter flakes by hand. Time for the crystals! I didn't have the right colored jewels, so I made my own by first making a silicon mold from these kite-shaped rhinestones. Now let's pray to the silicon god for a good cure. <laughs> Looks good though. I also made a second mold from tiny round rhinestones. Then I mixed some UV resin with nail polish and filled the molds with a toothpick. After curing it, it looks like this. Let's demold! Yes, it worked! When you don't have the right rhinestones, make them yourself, I guess, right? Great! Now I can apply round rhinestones to the wings and put super tiny silver ones around them to make the flowers of Muse's wings. For the little dangly decorations, I punch a hole into the wings with a needle and a thread and pull through two pink beads. I pull the thread back through the beads to make a loop and glue the kite-shaped rhinestones to the end, sandwiching the threads between two stones. And with that, the wings are done and I'm so so happy with them. Ok, time to install the magnet on Musa's body. First I'm drilling a hole into Musa's body and make it bigger with my Dremel. That thing always sounds like a horror dentist tool. <laughs> I then stuff the body with some aluminium foil and try to glue in the magnet with super glue. With mediocre success first. <laughs> I decided to add a bit UV resin around the magnet to make sure it doesn't flop out anymore. I then airbrushed the body to a more human-like skin tone. For Musa's gloves I'm just going to paint her lower arms and parts of her upper arms with pink acrylic paint. I sketch out the seam line of the glove first and then I go in with paint. Thank you. 
Ignore the second maggot. The second maggot? Oh god. <laughs> Ignore the second magnet, by the way. It turned out to be non working, and I used the Velcro on the clothes and wings instead. When the arms were painted, I just apply some glue onto them and glitterify the gloves. And here are the complete glitter gloves. Musa's shoes are just made out of a pink wire that I wrapped around another Draculaura body that I had to not damage the paint job on the original doll. Wrapping this was quite a bit annoying, but the best way to make her feet accessories possible. After I put them onto the finished doll, I dabbed a little bit of UV resin to the bottom, applied a beautiful rhinestone to them and cured it. And they're done! Yay! Last but not least, Blue Pixie helped me to make the hair accessories and 3D sculpted them so I could 3D print them. This is the crown which I just had to decorate with super tiny rhinestones. It's so cute and tiny! Aww. For the hair bands, I printed these parts that fit together so I can glue them around the pigtails. I just painted and glitterified them and they're done! And that was the last remaining piece from Musa. She's finally done! I'm so in love with how she turned out. She looks so magical and I'm proud to have gained some new crafting techniques during her process. all glittered up and transformed. How do you like my interpretation of Musa and Chantix? I'm actually so happy how her wings turned out. Which one is your favorite wings character and why? Please let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you to all my patrons and Twitch subscribers. You make all of this possible. By the way, if you become one of my patrons or subscribers on Twitch, you can get special doll patterns like this Musa outfit. Also, if you want to become a sparkle as well, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and comment under the video. If you feel extra, you can also hit the little bell notification to never miss out on future videos. Thank you all so much for watching and have a beautiful magical day. Bye!